Sunday night, December 18. We're going to follow up on what we expect for the S&P this week and some other points. So we've been looking for a decline in December. We have what we expected last week, which was uh, early rally and sell off at the end of the week. And uh, it looks like the market should go lower. However, at this point, as is the status of the market, usually it will do differently than what you expect. I'm thinking it'll go a tiny bit lower this week, but it's going to bottom out in this week and it's going to rally up and have a year end rally and should end either on the 30th of December or possibly a week later on, De on January 5th. OK, so <clears throat> we saw something of a decline. We may see yet one more rally. The rally could be more substantive than one would like if you're short. So you might consider lightening or shortening your getting out of short positions in the next day or two. The cycle low is this week on the 22nd, but it may actually start up early in the week and come back down and have a retest on the 22nd. So I wouldn't get too eager about waiting any longer if the market starts to rally immediately. Also, all this behavior since November 14th has been choppy. It went down, went up a little higher, went down, went up a little higher went down a little lower. It looks like it's going down. It looks like it's going up. None of that mattered. What's going to happen now is it may do yet one more fake out and have a rally, which will make it look like the bull market has continued from October all the way through into January. We're on our way up. Things are good. January and February are likely to be extremely volatile months. The sideways congestion behavior we've seen since November is likely to end. A new year is beginning. Different energy is in the market. Fund managers are starting to make one kind of decision toward the end of the year. They want to do some window dressing, etc. And then early next year, their new thinking will become more clear. Sociopolitical events could become more heated. And a number of other changes are happening. What's interesting astrologically is Saturn in the Vedic system of uh, Vedic astrology is moving into a new sign for the first time in three years on January 14th. And the tone of the market in 2023 is likely to be significantly different than it was in 2022, which was a bear market, but it was not a dramatic bear market. It was kind of sluggish. It looked a lot like 2000 and, uh, 2004, which was kind of choppy. 2023 is likely to be more sharp edged. The moves are going to be faster. The moves are going to be bigger. And they're going to be both direction. <laughs> it's not a straight down market. But ultimately, we'll have a year end forecast and a 2023 forecast coming up in the next few weeks. And also, I wanted to point out, I think it's important that uh, people realize that it's very easy to subscribe on YouTube. You just, you know, click the button and then you automatically get these updates when they happen. And also, we really appreciate your thumbs up. Uh, you know, ca characterization of what you appreciate about what we're doing and any comments you might have. We're open and we'd love to read them. All right. Thank you for all that. Now, next year and in the months coming, we're going to be restructuring our program a little bit. We're going to be expanding. We'll be doing a, a number of other markets and um, we're going to be changing the course uh, structure that we are going to be doing and we're going to be adding uh, additional services. And eventually, at some point soon, we may even have a website. So don't look for it yet. It's not there, but we will. And I wanted to invite everybody to stay tuned because the excitement is going to grow next year. There's a lot of volatility that's expected. And if we're accurate, I think you're in a position to take advantage of some some reasonably uh, exciting market action. You know, also, you know, you notice in the last few videos, I've been starting to describe <clears throat> this geometry, this unmanifest geometry of the markets that is sitting there <laughs> before the markets get there. These lines are there and those channel lines are a discovery that we've made and it's very profound information. And we're going to be utilizing that and highlighting that and even potentially isolating videos specifically on the channels technique that I've developed and that is uh, extremely useful for support and resistance levels to understand potential targets of the market. What's going to slow it down? Where is it going to stop? So these channels can be really useful in a number of ways. And when you have a, a whole lot of channels that are clustered, 
they ultimately create very important support and resistance levels and they give you an idea why the market is likely to be in a range or why it's likely to be trending and when it's likely to be in a range and when it's likely to be trending you can find from the cycle work that we've been doing so putting together these price projection very very precise a high and low point projection techniques with the cycles it's a, it's a powerful combination and we'll be adding in more about these price channels going forward remember you have to be willing to take responsibility for your own trades. No matter what I say, you know I can be wrong. And if I am wrong, I don't want to take responsibility for what you do. Because you have to be the one who's willing to accept the fact that it's your money and it's your life. And if you do listen to what I say, you have to be willing to accept the fact that you were the one who made the decision to utilize that information. Take full responsibility for it. Also, I recommend using stops in every single trade. And oftentimes it's a useful idea to hedge, particularly with the incre incredible volatility in this market. You can make money even on the insurance policy, sometimes beyond what you lose on your uh, underlying position. All right, thanks a lot.